Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Kanaka Popri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As per the title, today I would be telling you all about first year. Especially for the freshers, this would be really helpful to you all. And not only this, I am starting with this series called MBBS Diaries wherein I would be telling you about every year, first, second, third, fourth and about internship and the lessons which I got so that you do not repeat those mistakes. So let's get started with the first year. So yes, freshers, what do you think about college? Having fun, sitting in canteens with friends, no attendance issues, traveling, enjoying and like wearing anything you want to. If this is what you think, then just bust the myth because this is not happening if you are entering the MBBS college. In medical college, first year is known to be one of the most hectic years. It's like first year and the final year, these two years are really hectic. And also you are coming directly from like 11, 12 to a very new environment in a medical college, things become much more hectic too. Now, if I talk about the classes, the classes timing is just like if you are in a school 8 to 2 or 8 to 4 depending upon which college you are in some colleges the first year classes extend up to 8 to 4 wherein they give you one hour break in between and in some colleges the classes are from 8 to 2 wherein the break is like after 2 o'clock so this is what it is you have a very tight packed schedule wherein you need to like get up get ready have breakfast and rush to the college for your classes that is from 8 to 2 so now in this whole timetable what all subjects do you study anatomy biochem and physiology so these three subjects are what you need to study along with that you also have classes for psm that is community medicine or preventive and social medicine And you also have practicals. So in practicals, you have in anatomy, you need to go to the dissection hall, something which we all are really excited for. Then in the case of physiology, you have two labs. One is hemat and the other one is like a proper physiology lab wherein you are taught about the physiology of the body, like CVS, GIT, CNS, all of this. And the third lab is the biochemistry lab wherein you need to like find out the biochemistry, like the molecules or for example, you need to have a urine test done so in that you need to find out whether there is protein present or sulfur present or bile present something like that okay so this is in short so now talking about dissection hall dissection hall is something we people are really excited for looking at the dead bodies they are called as cadavers so you have dead bodies present in a dissection hall but dissection hall is extremely smelly so you would get used to it but starting initially it would be really tough for people to like get adjusted to the dissection hall so the formalin is the thing which causes the smell in the whole dissection hall also not only this the dissection hall now i would call it as dh so dh has something very exciting too this is the first time wherein you interact with all of your batchmates too so it's because the whole patch is divided into groups and every group has its own category. So this is the time when the whole group, let's say 10 people. So these 10 people would be interacting and this is the time when the patch has their own couples made. DH is actually a very famous spot for the couples to arise from the first year. Now about the physiology lab, wherein you would be studying about the physiology. So there you would be testing. For example, if it is CNS, so you would be testing the nerve, you would be having nerve examination. Then also for the eyes, you would be having Snellen chart and you would be having plethysmography. For respiratory, you would be having spirometer, you would even do the treadmill test, stress test. So all of these tests are actually done in physiology. And for the first time, if any one of you do not belong from a doctor family, this would be the first time when you would learn how to take BP. So even I do not belong from a doctor family so this was the first time when I learned how to take blood pressure so that is what you need to do now coming to the hematological lab I am literally scared of injections and in hemat lab what you need to do is you need to prick your finger ring finger on your own take out the blood and then do the examination so again it is very dreadful 
initially but later on it will be so easy for you that you just do not even put a single thought and you just prick and just do the whole procedure and now coming to the biochemistry lab one thing which i can remember right now is about the urine test we need to like again collect the sample on our own and then perform the whole urine test again it is really disgusting for the first time but then you need to make a habit of it so this is all about the subjects and your practicals okay so now that we are done with subjects we need to talk about the exams so in first year you would be having a lot of exams in between like part completion test pcts wherein any of the topic if they're done with in the college they would take a very random test which helps in building your internal score but for your main score you have prof so in prof okay so now that we are done with the subjects we need to know about the exams so in first year again you have like terminals first terminal second terminal but the main clearing exams are called as prof that is first professionals or first prof in case of first year so now you need to give that 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 and that is the clearing exam if you clear it then you move ahead to the second year now the clearing percentage is no more 37% which is required for the boards it is way more than that it is 50% i know that you all people are quite intelligent and you must have scored like 90% 95 99% in your board exams but once you enter in college forget this myth of scoring 99% it is really impossible scoring like 60 to 70% is considered to be amazing so you need to be above 50% but till 70% it is a kind of considered to be as a topper so now coming towards the dress code i know we all fantasize to look good in college wear nice clothes get ready but that is not what you are allowed to in first year most of the times every college have their own dress code if i talk about my college i to had a proper uniform for all the four years but in some colleges it is just for one year and most of the time the dress code is about a suit wherein you need to wear a salwar and a kameez with the dupatta and then you also have to wear an apron over it so the lab coat what we used to call it in 11th and 12th is now called as apron so this was also a new term which you learn in 11th and 12th we call that chemistry lab coat and now we have to call it as apron okay so freshers most important thing what do you refer to as your seniors here you do not call your seniors as didi or bhaiya or by name you need to refer them as ma'am or sir or boss so this is what you need to call to your seniors again this is a very drastic change but later on you would love it rather than calling anyone didi or bhaiya i think it is better calling them as ma'am and you would be craving for the time when you will go into second year and then your freshers would come and they would be referring to you as ma'am or sir or boss also a very important thing that now you are freshers you cannot like move freely in the whole campus and everything before the fresher party you need to be in a proper decorum and the whole class has to like go into proper queues proper lines even if you are going to a mess or you are going to let's say lecture hall there you everyone has to go in proper lines and then only like every year you need to like properly go into lines so this is a very different part of it but once the fresher part is done so the ice is break between the seniors and the freshers and then you can like do whatever you want to then mbbs is all about respect if you give respect to your seniors the seniors would definitely show love to you so you need to always remember this thing that you need to respect your seniors anywhere you see them you have to wish them like good morning good evening good afternoon if you don't do most of the times they would like stop you or scold you about it so don't do this mistake even your time would come and then you would also get the same kind of greetings also first year is the year to make friends to interact with people and to understand what kind of friends you want once you enter the medical college in first year i'm telling you you would have a group of let's say 10 to 20 people but make sure that you do not attach yourself to them because later on everyone would disperse and like detach and then you would not actually be left with a group of 10 people later on it would be just two or three friends left so make sure that you do not trust everyone because 
in hostel you would have different variety of people and by variety i do not mean that people are coming from different areas by variety i mean different mindset here maybe you are entering this college at 18 there would be people who would be much more experienced entering the college at 20 or even 17 or even like 21 so when they are more experienced they have more life experiences so they are cunning so make sure that you do not fall into that trap so that is it this is kind of a summary of first year and believe me first year would be one of the best years of your life at least in my case i really cherished my memories of first year they were amazing and we used to like roam around have fun and i have like gone to so many cities so many places around my college during the first year itself so do not burden yourself with the studies the moment you enter the college you have time so relax and enjoy first year is not just about study first year is also about understanding yourself also give about giving yourself time and having fun making new friends new interaction and building up your own hobbies so do not forget all of this and believe me you would really love the whole process of mbbs so that is it for today everyone i really hope you like this video and stay tuned because i would be telling you about the second year third year fourth year internship and everything very soon in my upcoming videos so do not forget to subscribe to the channel like share comment down below any other topic you want me to talk on and let's just quickly hit 20k subscribers yeah bye everyone